Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, how to bottle your beer or hard cider. That looks like artwork. It is, it's kind of a sculptural thing. Uh, we just did a video about how to make hard cider, um, and we're also doing videos about how to home brew your beer as well. The same techniques are used to bottle the beer. This is some hard cider we got ready to be bottled, so I wanted to show you how to do it, all right? So the first thing you need for bottling is bottles. bottles. Now what you can do is you can go and do what I do is go through your neighbor's trash and get bottles. I don't think you should say that. Um, go through the recycle. You can get big bottles or small bottles. If you soak them in OxyClean overnight, a couple days, the labels come off. Uh, this one didn't come off all the way. Uh, and then you clean them. And I use what's called a bottle jet or a bottle washer to clean these off. So you soak them in a big trash can with uh, bleach or a sanitizer. If you use bleach, you're gonna get bleach on your clothes, remember that. And then we use this rack thing that holds the bottles. Uh, it's kind of an extravagance, but it makes moving the bottles around a lot easier because you're all your bottles are drying and they're on this thing. How much does that weigh? <laughs> Not much, less than 20 pounds. But it makes it really easy to dry the bottles and then bottle your cider or beer. Do you wanna tell them a secret? Uh, do I have a secret? You are a natural bottle collector. Oh, well, I collect a lot of brown bottles. They have to be brown, by the way. Uh, the camera operator has kind of tried to put a moratorium on my bottle collecting. Doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> We're bottling. You excited? For cider, I like to bottle in the bigger bottles. Uh, you know, this is your regular 12 <laughs> ounce long neck. I, I'd like to use the bigger ones. Oh, a lot of cider. No, because when you open up a <laughs> cider, you're, you're probably sharing it with somebody. And it also has a fairly low alcohol content, so you could drink a whole one of these and not be loopy. Loopy? So, yeah. So, first thing first, is we need to drink some cider, or beer, while we're... Doing the demo? Yeah. So again, we're gonna decant this into a glass. This is important. It is, because beer or, or cider, you're going to get some sediment at the bottom, bottom of the bottle here. So you're gonna decant, it's called decanting. We pour it slowly without glugging into a glass. Decanting and, and, is a little too sophisticated a word for this. Okay, you're gonna see when you start pouring this, at the very end, you're gonna see some sediment wanna come out of the bottle. And at that point, Right there, you stop. There's always gonna be a little bit left here. Not much. Don't drink this, you can't, it just doesn't taste very good. But here we have this beautiful wine. Well, cider is, I guess, a wine. I don't know. Um, cider is a cider. There's a little bit of carbonation here, which is really nice. I don't like real bubbly cider, but. That's really cool, because you made it, you know? You made it a long time ago, too. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Low, really slow fermentation with ciders, by the way. Is it good? Cold and slow. Yeah, it's good. Uh -huh. Is it different than the other one? It's different than our first batch. This is a much longer ferment we did for this batch. You're going to need a couple supplies. Uh, a bottle capper. Basically, if you have a homebrew kit, like a beginning homebrew kit, you have all the tools you need. Bottle capper, sanitizer, some priming sugar in case you want to recarbonate. For beer, you're gonna prime sugar it. Bottle caps, you've simmered the bottle caps in some simmering water to sterilize them. Simmering or boiling? You just wanna simmer, you don't wanna boil the heck out of them. So for bottling, we are gonna use uh, what's called a siphon and a bottle filler. This is, has a little spring tip. This pulls the wort or cider up into the tube, all right? Where'd you and get that? I bought it at the Homebrew Supply Store. By the way, we have a link of a recommended online ordering guy, uh, website, Homebrew website, right here in the show notes. Click on the more info, and there'll be a link there to the people that we buy all the stuff from online. Might or go to your local homebrew shop. Might not be a guy. Sorry. This is kind of a luxury, but it's really good, and it's less than 10 bucks. It doesn't look like a luxury. <laughs> all of this has been sanitized with your sanitizing solution, inside and out. This has all been sanitized, and then you rinse it in water. Okay, the key thing here is everything has to be sanitized that touches the beer or the cider. Okay. Here is our siphon. We're going to put this in our carboy. You want to very gently move this thing if you have to move it at all. 
you've done your priming with your sugar see the instructions on your homebrew kit for doing that and then I lift this up kind of cool lift this puppy up we have a very shallow roof here <laughs> and then we put this into a bottle press down on the little filler and then we press down on this and that starts our siphon and we fill the bottle now you want to bring this almost up to the top Oh, I went a little too far there. That happens a lot. You you don't want this to go over the lip ideally, but notice when I lift this out, yeah. there's going to be some air space here. You want that, right? And we want that. That's a good thing. Why? You need a little air space because when the carbonation happens, um, that air space compresses a little bit. If it's all liquid, it'll press the bottle cap off, and that's a bad thing. Press it off and you like pop off? Maybe. Now we're ready to cap our bottle. You have Again, your hands are clean, the bottle caps are clean, this is clean, this is clean. This goes on like this. And this capper has a little magnet and a little center point there. And then this sits... Right over it? Yeah, like that. Is that like crimping? Yeah, you're crimping the bottle cap on to the and, bottle. And it doesn't break the bottle? Nope. And you've just bottled your beer or your cider. And you put this away for a month or six months and... Or you snack your pretty label on it. Yeah, put your cool label on there. Get credit for it. Yeah. If you're having trouble getting the siphon to work, try putting your beer or cider higher up in the sky. All right, there you go how to bottle beer. You can also do that with hard cider. Uh, we make both. It's a lot of fun. It's easy to do. Hard cider you can make from apple cider you buy at the store, by the way. And if you like what we're doing here and you haven't subscribed yet, would you please consider? It's free to subscribe. The subscribe button is either up here or down here. It says subscribe. Click on it. It's free to subscribe. Also, you can sign up for our email newsletter as well. We put out new stuff every week here. And also check out the Labradors, they have their own uh, YouTube channel. And check out the Labradors on our Garden Fork site as well, a bunch of videos there. So, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think, comments or questions below. Um, there you go. Anything else, Henry? Okay, thank you. <laughs>